But the yeah. TL specifically, mm -hmm. no one's really sharing a lot of stuff. At all. Everybody's with the TL. But Dino's telling us upwards 400. No, it's like five. The way Remember, I wanted 400 this whole time. What happened? What happened? What are you laughing at, bro? My boy Taylor How you doing, in the bro? house, you already know. all the way from Connecticut. Yes, sir. Uh, we're gonna do a little something a little different, guys. A little like interview podcast style. Yeah, switch mm -hmm. it up, you know. Yeah, we want to talk about the setup yeah. and uh, get his input. Yes, sir. Maybe get his story, how long he's been in the game, all that mm -hmm. good stuff. Uh, the last couple days he's been here, we've been dialing in the car. You guys seen the videos, man? And she scoots. The, PO, the first drive, bro. We just got it back, bro. She's hot right now. I'm definitely scooting. And she's scooting. Like, Taylor Tune, right? Yeah, it's Taylor underscore Tune. Yeah, guys, go follow his Instagram if you're not. Yes. You're missing out. This is going to be the, the Turbo J Series guy right here in the next yeah. year. So, uh, it's me, a go to guy. Fingers crossed, less than that. Yeah. Like, if, you got, if you got a TL, J35, J32, Infinity, Accord. Accord. Yeah. He tunes them all. And, he, and he's good at what he does. Like the old standalone stuff, like Mega Square and all that, I, yeah, it's just not worth it to me. Yeah, because my, my price is so cheap. All the time and effort I gotta figure out, you know, put in like just to make that shut like stuff works. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not worth it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And also gonna be switching over to um hot and tuning speed soon. So yeah, that's something new that um I'm about to kind of get you know educated with. Yeah, it allows me to like like O four to like O six TOs where you gotta buy jump harness. You wouldn't have to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could just turn that. Stocky she just you know what gotcha, I mean? gotcha. I got my buddy um Tefe out in um New Jersey, Tefe Auto Works. Like he's like a master with it. I eat sleeping shit like Jay says, bro. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I like to say I do, but I'm a cosmetic guy, you know. I like to make things look nice. And I, I can respect that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Me, I'm kinda like like I got clients. I got some clients I really put on like heavy, like mm -hmm. my out of town chapter. Like my buddy um Trav, you ain't six. Like he goes hard. Like, Trav, you ain't six. Like, he goes hard like my buddy um Trav you ain't six like he goes hard in paint something crazy yep. my young boy um day and Nate you know what I'm saying um D sixty day that's his IG and um that one agent his IG like they go hard I think I've seen that guy yeah you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. they go hard me I'm kind of like a Goldilocks type of dude like I want my car to be fast but I want it to look good too yeah I'm making my mission to come back out here like we you know what I'm saying we got to yeah if me come back out here it's gonna you know what I'm saying and then eventually like I got my tractor and stuff, so if I get a car, I call the trailer, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'll put both of them, bring them down to the TL and the court, yep. you know what I'm saying? And we just rip shit up and let's give back to the community, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? I just feel like it's a whole lot of animosity and like just grabbing a barrel mentality going on. This is why, you know what I'm saying? This is why we want to do this, though. Yeah. Honestly, it's like, I don't know why. Well, I, maybe it's the TL platform because the J Series platform gets a lot of attention. Yeah. But the yeah. TL specifically. Mm -hmm. No one's really sharing a lot of stuff at all. Everybody's with the TL. So it's a lot of gatekeeping, bro. It's bad. Or I, they're like, was, or was, they're just older heads yeah. that aren't in like the YouTube scene mm -hmm. because I mean the TL is a 2008, but I mean the Hondas, mm -hmm. they're still killing it. So yeah. I, that's just, I don't know why. You know what it is? I feel like me personally, I feel like I've gotten shafted by the community. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm so open and upfront. Like you got some tuners that all they post is like. Wins, 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 wins. Yeah. No losses, no downtime. Like, okay, you've been tuning for 20 years and you never, cars never been down. Exactly. Come on, bro. You never broke anything. I do it hands on and I advertise it. Exactly. Every little thing. If I break something, well, this happened. I tried it, didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, like when I talk and somebody asks me something, oh, well, he has proof on video exactly. backing up what he's telling me to do. Or more. Did you see more you're on the J series. I bought, I bought my Accord. That was my first tunable J series. Yeah. I bought that. Six years, six and a half years ago. Yeah. Before that, I had like base model TLs. You know what I'm saying? That's before I knew about jump and stuff. You know, just 
Ace spec lip kit, Ace spec mm. wheels, lowered, clean. You know what I'm saying? The inch exhaust, stock my first, shit like yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? I had like four CLs. You know what I'm saying? I had like a, a two silver ones, a red one, and a black one. No, a, a red one, black one, and a gray one. The you know what I'm saying? It's over. Swear to God. Accurate dealership over there. God, bro. <laughs> I had like, bro, I probably done been through like every, I guess you would call them a hood burger car. You, mm -hmm. think of. you know what I'm saying? Like, because where I'm from, like, Bro, you get a CL for like two grand. 1500, that's crazy. Really Let's talk about this setup, how we got here. This is a long time, bro. Last, Damn. what was it? No, you tuned my car for the first time, like probably last year this time. Oh, it's been a year and a half. Yeah, year and a half. It's been a year and a half. That we first tuned it with the- it Hasn't made one hiccup. A little bit of a uh, bolt-ons. Exhaust, yeah, like header, all that stuff. Deleting shit at the yeah. time. Set up his car. So he woke up the car for the first time like a year and a half ago. What was it? November. I got in contact with him. I said I want to do this turbo thing, and he said I can make it happen for you. I ordered everything he sent me. We went through the checklist, found a fabricator, and we're here. Six months later, but we're here. My grandmother always told me like, one one coca for the basket. You know what I'm saying? So you just stick mm -hmm. one thing, put in your basket at a time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I noticed like when you rush. It's always a problem. Exactly. Like when I was doing my um, my TL, you're always missing something. You know what I mean? Like the amount of times I've had to reorder stuff, like exactly. you gotta wait for shipping. Like exactly. this time just goes. Exactly. Like, so let's talk about the setup. 2008 Acura TL, like best, obviously. 6262 um, turbo VS racing, dual ball bearing. It's not like the highest name brand turbo, but trust me, they it competes with the best. It definitely can hold its own. Um, HKS blow valve. Um, towel 44 millimeter race gate. You don't need nothing crazy with these cars, you know what I mean? Small intercooler, it's good for about 600 horsepower. It doesn't have like a high, you know, CFM pressure drop, nothing like that. So, yeah. you know, maintain shoots and stuff like that. You know, intake manifold and stuff in runners and throttle body all ported by me and my buddy, um, Tone, Type S 6MT. You know, TNT performance, that's, you know, sub brands are tailored to, you know what I mean? Yep. do a lot of port and stuff like that. Talk me out of getting the P2R1. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, this I wouldn't, was, I wouldn't I say mean, talks, you know, but yeah. just kind of let's try this. Yeah, you know, like because I always want to hop on something new, but know, this is it's tried and true. P2R yeah. had good products. You're not yeah. bashing them, not trying to be that. It's none of that. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. just testing yeah. our own stuff, and you know what I'm saying. Two and a half inch downpipe. You know, I would have probably opt for bigger, but some clearance issues. Um, we'll probably go bigger in the future. Yeah, we're we're gonna yeah. end up revising everything um the way it's routed through the back yeah it's i mean there's room for three though for sure it definitely so is um we'll pull all the cables away and yeah. yeah my buddy i got a buddy that's a fabricator that's a partner rip so you know we got a, some stuff in the works so he's definitely going to be getting upgraded turbo manifold and basically just a mock-up you know what i mean just to make sure everything works you know and then approval upon there you know what i mean uh some mileage on this car again the mileage yeah 125 the 125. Yeah. Between today and yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. That nine, was like nine real pulls. Nine real yeah. solid pulls, man. She didn't break a sweat. Yeah, man. This thing is like a dream come true. Honestly. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I, I'd i be having so much like ideas, you know what I mean? And it's just like, I just be wanting people that, you know, actually serious and willing to take it there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this guy right here, you know, you just happen to be one of those people, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, for the price, you know what I'm saying? First mock up, you know, like budget wise, we went kind of steep. We we did, even though the but we just so, were playing it safe. Yeah, exactly. Parts are on top of the line. Yeah, we bought but extra. It ended stuff up being kind of steep. You know, fabricator saying, was top of the like. Yeah, he's a, yeah. he's a solid fabricator. Yeah, yeah. so what was like, he wasn't cheap. Bucks an hour or something like, like one forty an hour. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Uh, he he was efficient too. He was a dude. Yeah, what was that a week and a half? Two weeks? Yeah, he didn't. Two weeks. It was it was out of his shop in two weeks, and yeah, yeah that's the setup, guys and but dino's telling us upwards 400 no it's like five or i mean higher 400s five five you think five yeah because the way the clutch is like, this is five obviously the way the remember i wanted 400 this whole time yeah like i, I told you i'm going i'm going to have some fun with yeah, 400. i kind of knew that <laughs> yeah it was going to go over that i know you know what yeah. i mean and I was hoping the best with the, yeah. the aftermarket flywheel and the stock clutch. Just, just, I mean, this whole time we've been saying six pounds. Yeah. If I get 400, I'm happy. Yeah, but it's literally six and, literally six and a half right now. Yeah, and it's at six and a half right now. That's the thing, bro. It feels like, like more. If people don't understand, you want to make power with boost. Yeah. Don't lower your turn, compression. Turn, turn that way a little bit because yeah. just the mic. You know? yeah. Um, 
sorry. Um, if you want to make you know power like yeah. boost and stuff like that, you don't necessarily always have to lower your compression. Keeping it higher compression helps with spool time. And yeah, you make more power at a lower boost level. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's putting less, less stress on the engine. You know what I mean? Like the weak points with these, it's not what everybody thinks. Oh, the rods, this and that, do that. No, it's the ring gap. The ring gap is like super tight. Yeah, the factory. You know what I mean? This motor being untouched, me per, like me just knowing them like the back of my hand. I know the limits, so I know what I could get away with ignition timing wise. You yeah. know, but say if you wanted to shoot for like eight hundred or you know whatever the case may be, you would just literally just pull a couple pistons, gap the rings, yeah, put it back together, send it. You know what I mean? And at that point, the weak point would be the rod. We did what nine poles back to back, and the temp never went higher than one eighty six. Yeah, you know that says a lot. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, man, J series. That's, that's OEM times too. Exactly. That's what it runs at. Like, yeah, J series. Imagine we just added more heat. Exactly. We you just, know what I'm yeah. saying? That's your tons of heat. Tons of heat. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's still holding temps. Like, only thing I'll probably say you would have to do some ARPS studs. You know what I'm saying? Some head studs. When we start cranking up like past ten. Yeah. You know, because it will lift. All right, so let's talk about the future. Yeah. Because this is a big. This is a. This is like the step one. You know, prototype it's one true. kind of pretty yeah. much. Uh, um, wait, have you have you built anyone else's turbo case? I'm building one right now. Is this like the full one you did step by step, like pretty much hold my hand the whole way through though? Basically. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I built mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me and my buddy Kyle. I'm man, phenomenal welder. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like top tier. Like used to work for Sheep Race. You know what I mean? Yeah. And bro, he knows his shit. Like everything he does is like all math and like like exhaust and intake velocity, yeah. like all that shit matters to him. You That's gonna be the go-to for the future kits yeah, and like stuff like all that. All the kits, like, and you know, I'm, I'm in the works making um, plug and pay kits for majority of the J-Series chassis. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Some might, you might have to send your car to me, but majority like the known ones, like UA chassis, the um, CD chassis, that's like yeah. the and stuff like that, or CD. So there, you know there used to be a kit that yeah. was from Slick Fab. Yeah. Right? My buddy has one. He does one. One of my clients that yeah. became my buddy. And, and so, I don't know when. Like, when did they stop making them though? Like fourteen. Eric is a good dude. He kind of just fell off the grid. I don't know if he has some personal stuff going on, but I think that was like, yeah. 14. They still sell a lot of turbo stuff. No, you won't. You won't get it. Like you put in the order, it will never come. Oh, okay. They're you know, okay. Like, they're, he's done, he's so just, they're done. Okay. The site is just up, but yeah. it's like you know what I mean. But like, that's since like what? 14, 16? It's been a while. It's been a long time. Yeah. Like, like since I've been in the, in the game, guys, like there hasn't been a turbo kit. Everything is just Rotrex. Rotrex mm -hmm. pretty much carries the J series right now. Yeah. The uh, the Gersey Bear kit, and that was my plan from the beginning to go Gersey Bear, Bear. It's just the fact that it doesn't have AC, and you got to spend all that extra money to do that. I just feel like yeah. for the price that you're paying, that takes away from it. So you can get a really similar bang for buck for like turbo, two thousand cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you make more power. Go to Cars and Coffee, whatever. Get your AC. Noises, you know what I mean? And you're chilling. You know what I mean? Like, nice hot day. You do a couple pulls and it's like, you sweating your balls off. It's like, damn, what's it worth? It's <laughs> funny. Like, yeah. Yeah. I just wasted four grand to drive a sauna. Bro, you all, you, all you guys are going to see me doing is yeah. POV driving and showing you guys the mistakes I make. Yep. Showing you guys if something breaks. Like, put a lot of trust in you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you <know> Honestly, <laughs> yo. <laughs> You know, you know, he's like, just on that laptop making adjustments <laughs> as we're doing polls. Like anything can happen, you know, but it's that trust right there that we've been yeah. on the phone for hours and I put my name on everybody's yeah. thing. So it's like once my name is on your stuff, that's my stuff now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna treat it like such. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's that's a lot of responsibility me. really yeah, on the, the tuners. It for is for sure. It is. So. If your car blow up and I know definitively mm -hmm. it was my fault, I'm like, okay, bro, I'll buy your motor. You know, this is a, a risk you like to run, you know, car hobby and stuff like that. But it's like, I feel like we should help each other out. Sure. Like, what kind of tuner would I be if, you know, like you just run into a problem, like, oh, you know, whatever, figure yeah. it out. You know, that I feel like that's happened to me before, before I started doing my thing. Like, you know what I mean? And that's mm -hmm. what kind of made me like, like, you know, I'm gonna just, you know, try to do things different. I just wanted to treat people how I wanted to be treated. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, so I seen one guy doing it the wrong way. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try and do it. The right way yeah let me see how it works yeah. how long uh you've been tuning for i started tuning five years so five years with a tl no i started with a court our first yeah, court card i used to have a tuner which is the same thing yeah i used to have a tuner and i would go to him and it was cool at first 
And I would just, I'm just always like knowledge hungry. You know what I mean? And I would ask him questions. And obviously, like you'd be like standoffish, shit like yeah. that. I'm like, damn, bro, why are you being like that? Even if I learn how to do it and I start doing my own, I'm not gonna come and try to poach your clients. I would never do nothing like that. Yeah. I'll just do my own thing. You know what I mean? And me, if somebody come around me and they try to learn something, I'm not gonna stop them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because what's for me is for me. And nobody yeah. can stop that. You know what I'm saying? And I see somebody try to excel on life and acquire a certain skill. If I can help them, I will. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. It just became like everything was kosher until I boosted my car. And when I boosted my car, he started acting weird. I was like, bro, come on. And he had like a a J swap. I'm not gonna say what, but and that's that's when I started my journey. Like I was already doing it on the low. Maybe because they didn't know how to dial I think it, it was that, and I feel like a lot of people don't know how to be transparent. Yeah. And I, that's where I try to be the opposite of that. Like if somebody comes to me, but like, can you do this? And I don't know how. No, I can't do it. Yeah. But I this guy probably can. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel like he was more embarrassed. Times like he like, I'll go get a retune. Oh, what program Bro. was that again? I'm like, what? I'm sorry. What? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> What you laughing at, bro? <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. You look like my dad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you dude, these Like, just this half right here, the way, you, dude, the whole thing, everything, bro. You actually. Hey, I'll, you I'll, never, I'll show you a photo of him later. You never know. <laughs> <Don't> you <laughs> <wait. laughs> That's a little blooper right there. <laughs> you feel me, but. It's gonna roll it out, guys. Alright. Can I finish? Can I finish real quick? Because I was almost done. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Basically, um. So when I got into the tuning, like I was doing it while he was doing it. Mm -hmm. Like he would tune my car and then I'll go home, look at what he did, and kind of just like kind of learn from it. You know yeah. what I mean? And you know, but I would never pass my place and be like, oh, I'm too, you know, I didn't want him to feel like, you know what I mean? So I will always just still go to him, you know, just off of loyalty. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, yeah, bro, when I started with my car, that was like the last straw. He just kept like blowing me off. And I blew my car up like eight times. Like, like I had like eight J37s in there. I blew them, blew them all up. Really? Just trial and error. You know what I mean? And I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because the Nas I acquired doing it, priceless. The last three motors, they all worked. You know what I'm saying? They all worked. They blew up because like wastegate's not opening. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Little dumb stuff. Cooling issues. Mm -hmm. You know what? All trial and error stuff. You know what I'm saying? The last motor I had, I made like 612 to the wheel. It was like 500 and some torque. You know, 78, 75 turbo. Same brand. BS Racing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shattered that engine mod though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so like we thought a rapture would have came or something that she would like pop like dust, you know. But if I, I'm gonna be honest, if I didn't stop mounts, I probably would have broke something. Mm -hmm. And you probably would have ripped right out the, the chassis. Yeah, you know the stock I mean? mounts on these aren't right really. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I'm gonna tell you something. It's good and it's bad. New stock mounts is probably yeah. perfect. You want a, some type of flex. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if everything is rigid, where all, where's all that torque gonna go? You're gonna break something. Yeah. You know what I'm Straight saying? If you be, exactly. Yeah. If you wanna be breaking shit all the time, you need to have some flex. You know what I'm saying? No axles for these that are better than OEM. Honestly, the insane shafts is like they're garbage. I've, I've heard stuff about they're them. Garbage. Like, but yeah, just keep keep it the they're garbage. Oh, yeah. If you're gonna be changing the axle a lot, honestly, all his own. Yeah, lifetime warranty. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might get a little wobble too low. <laughs> right there, yeah, bro. They hate me. Like, <laughs> they broke, right? They they won't even be broke. I swear. <laughs> like I'll beat on them, and they won't break. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's just the way I drive. You know what I'm saying? But I kind of like got like how to drive these TOs down to like a science to where mm -hmm. they won't break. You know what I mean? All right, man. Let's talk about the kits. Yeah, man. So basically, hopefully by the end of the, of the year, yeah, we got a really solid mock up because you still need to get another car in yeah, line. Yeah, I'm working on that, and I got um the car. I got to get yeah. um a jig made yeah. it up, made up stuff like that. So you got the people. I yeah. mean, we got the team. We're already over halfway there. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. So then we got this first. Car, so pump this one out. You know, we're gonna have like three stages, you know, got 62, 62, stage yeah. one, you know what I'm saying? 67, 62, stage two, and stage three is big boys, 78, 75, all VS racing, you know, and whether you wanna get, you know, the turbo dressed up or whatever, there'll be options there, or, you know what I'm saying? If you want, yeah. you know, you kind of just let me know what your power goals is and then we'll go from there, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it's all gonna relatively be the same price. The only price difference is gonna be like if the turbo price is different. You know, you just pay that difference. You know what I'm saying? And 
between the 62-62 and the 78-75, it's like a $200 difference. Nobody out there makes Manifold yeah. for the TO. So to be the only one out there for the TOs that fit and they're just plug and play kits. Yeah. And, you know, all the videos and stuff that I'm going to be dropping is going to give you guys yeah. enough knowledge to tackle this yourself. And then if you're buying a kit from him and he's your tuner, you're squared away. Yeah, you can't You know what I'm lose. saying? Yeah. So, and then as far as budget goes, like, oh we're shooting God. for like 4,500. Max. Like, Five grand max. Pretty much what you guys are going to see is me driving the car. Mm -hmm. If it does good for the next six months, you'll see it's tried and true. Exactly. Uh, we'll have kits hopefully out in about six months or so mm -hmm. that you guys can actually purchase. And uh, yeah, bro, that's exciting stuff. Yeah. I, I want to try to hook up with Snap Finance too in the firm and all that. Like all this is trial and error research. You know Five I mean? grand is nothing. It's not. It's really not. For a 600 horsepower turbo kit? 500. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I mean. I'm just not I'm just saying. No, I'm saying. Depending on your like, motor. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. this was like a 3.0, that would be like a 400 horsepower. Like, yeah. You know, like, like 10 pounds. You know what I'm saying? That would be like 400 horsepower. Yeah, I mean, and to make it all like, work like like butter. I mean, we got the 37 manifold, mm -hmm. bigger throttle body, exhaust setup, the cooling system yeah. mm -hmm. to make it. I'll run better. Uh, fuel injectors. Yeah, yeah. Fuel injectors is a big thing, guys. You guys yeah. got to get the fuel injector. If you guys are hesitant, just watch me for the next six months. Yeah. If the car does good, then you know we got a solid setup here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, POV videos for the next couple of months, bro. I'm so excited. It's just going to be, every kid's going to be better, you know? Yeah. Everyone's going to be better than last, honestly. Three inch everything? I think so. Yeah. Except probably right here. It depends. I'm so going to put it here if I'm going to. Keep the turbo placement like this or turn it sideways. I don't know. If I turn it sideways, I can run the three inch. The stock mm -hmm. cap back system is two and a half. Is it good to go three to merge to two and a half? I mean, it's ultimately best to go four three inch, honestly. Yeah. But not everybody want to do that. And if their power goal is like, oh, I just want to go 400, then they don't need to. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you're chasing big power, that's when you got to worry about shit like that. Yeah. But if you just, bro, two and a half, everything, bro, like, I want your first part capable all day. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no crazy. Like, bro, the duty cycle for this on your injectors are like 23%. Bro, we could put M5 in this right now and your duty cycle. I would just need to probably upgrade your feed to like yeah. a 60 in feed or 8 in feed. Yeah. And your duty cycle probably be like 60% max. But right. this is worth the wait. Yeah. I think it was. I think that's about it, guys. Yeah, wrap it up here. Uh, that's, you know? that's the build. Um, Got some flybys coming for you guys soon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Taylor got us squared away, bro. <laughs> you already know, my I boy. appreciate it. You already know, dog. Came all the way from Connecticut. Yeah. Bro, that flight was crazy. <laughs> like, literally, it said five hours, and then I wake up. It was like one o'clock. And I'm like, oh, where? It's only an hour left. Yeah. Right? No, I'm lying. It was like two o'clock. The time like, difference. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, it's only like 48 minutes left. Cool. Then the coke my eyes open back again. It was like one o'clock again. I'm like, You're whoa, both. what's going on? Well, we'll in this right here, guys. Uh, I'm tired. You guys see me yawning this yeah, whole time. I'm me too. I don't know how you talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your first name is Taylor, right? No, that's my last name. Okay. My first name right. is Justice. Justice. Okay, yeah. So Justice. I always thought Justice was the last name. But whatever. You guys can call him T Sauce. Oh yeah. You really bring that T Sauce. <laughs> that T Sauce sounds weird sometimes. Dude, it's twelve. Oh, that's wild. See how time flies? We have a conversation. Yeah. I was wondering why I was so tired, dude. Yeah, I'm having I'm a hard tired. time like keep a conversation. Yeah, I'm All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, a lot of exciting stuff to come up. Hopefully, uh, the car does good. And uh, no, she will. you guys know I'm going to keep you updated with any problems. She, she is going to do good. And stuff, so. You, know, you got to manifest stuff. Yeah. You know? She is going to do good. She can do numbers. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See you next one.